All right. Hello, loves. Um, so the Sparkses are kind of getting together today. I'm Sarah Sparks. Kelly Sparks is, is joining us. And um, we are excited to connect and share. And Kelly um, and I connected. I'm not even sure Facebook kind of put us together. And then we decided to have a conversation and we have connections through Femme City. You are a leader out in Denver. Yes. Colorado. Yes. And um, and ums, I, every time now I say um, I'm like, oh, public speaking. So. Oh, let's talk about that. I love it. That's so perfect. <laughs> Yay. Well, let's just jump right in. What, what, what do you want to share about yourself? Anything? Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, well, I, 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 the first thing I'll share is I am the least likely person ever that you would think would be helping people do public speaking. I actually am the hugest introvert. I am somebody who used to be like, ridiculously shy, just like never spoke, like it's the last thing you would think that I'd want to do, right? But I love it so much. I so much love helping women really connect to their voices and what the heck they really, really most, most want to say and what the world just needs so much, right? Um, so it's actually really funny. And it's the way that I teach it through Women Speak, the curriculum is such a completely opposite way of, of teaching it. And I'll just go in and jump on the ums and yeah. ahs thing. Cause like, it's so different from like say Toastmasters or any other public speaking where, um, I have so much to say. I'm, I'm wanting to say all the things at once. <laughs> so can I can slow down. Something. When you were mm -hmm. talking and you were describing women really wanting to share something. And when you were saying that, I actually felt it. And what made me think of the difference is when I would compete in Toastmasters at the international speech competitions or the table topics, it was very uh, brain thinking, the way that I would outline things. Yeah. And when I would when the competitions it was when i would set that thinking part aside and just speak from my heart no matter if it was what i was supposed to be sharing or yes. the proper format yeah people then felt it and just what you were saying i could feel the passion that you have mm -hmm. in doing this so that is so perfect that is so amazing and doesn't surprise me a bit because I, I just see it over and over Mm -hmm. And that's what, um, that's what all, all, all the practices in Women Speak are all about is really developing that, right? I mean, you can do the structure and we do all of that too. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, like in the way that that's all taught. And it's and great, I, but like we can bring something more and it's, yeah. that's what you're talking about. For sure. I think we should probably back up because um, people missed our initial conversation. <laughs> and we're just jumping right in. So... Since this group is choosing to live your chosen path, choosing your chosen path, mm -hmm. speaking from a soul level, allowing your soul to lead, really diving deep into your own inner wisdom and allowing that to come out, mm -hmm. I feel was a good fit for you to come on and share some, some ways and to, to connect and, and why this is important and how we do this and all the, all the things. So do you mind if we like with that being said do you mind if we just jump in of like yeah. why we may want to connect easily to our deepest wisdom and speak it powerfully yeah absolutely well yeah that's totally i saw that connection there when when you and i spoke and it's, it's all about women you know connected to their their chosen path and um I can't, there's there's nothing more important right now and the reason we want to be connected to it i mean there's so many reasons one that you just like illustrated with you know it's powerful and it lands with people when you do that like in your examples from winning the t that's that's how you really get through to people number one and have an impact um, but also it just feels really good you know <laughs> it's it's hard and it's a lot of effort to kind of just go around and and only be in our head and um I think that a lot of times we go through our world um, sort of disassociating with what's really real and true for us and, and our experience and our bodies and we're up in our head a lot. Um, mm -hmm. You can think of it like the head bubble. And when we talk from here, sometimes it just feels like la 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 la, right? And it just doesn't land as much. 
and it doesn't it doesn't feel as good to us either and i believe that being really connected to your purpose and your path and really what you want to say your voice it actually fuels us it gives us energy so for sure i mean it's also self-care in so many ways right yeah oh yeah for sure i give that example to people um in in this group especially when I was going to do rapid fire channeling and I was super tired walking up the stairs to my office and I used to do it at seven o'clock at night and I was just like, I am done for the day. Oh my God, I don't want to channel four people and spirits like, um, this is why you're here. You better get your shit together. And so I was like, all right, this is why I'm here. Like, let's do this. And I was like a couple people in, a couple souls in, and I all of a sudden got all this energy and then I had a hard time going to sleep. Because I was like so jazzed. <laughs> I went from like super tired to like, yeah. yes. And I think that that is what I want everyone to feel yeah. as they are living their chosen path, whatever it is and however they want to live it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I do too. And that, that, that's exactly what I want. Yeah. So what are three ways that we can start to connect um, to our deepest wisdom and speak it powerfully? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, just acknowledge that it's there. Like I, I am here to tell you, not you, I know you know this, <laughs> but probably everyone listening. I know we all know this, but we forget sometimes, but every woman on the planet carries so much wisdom in her body and her lived experience. And, and, it, and um, so just remembering that and connecting with that right but then there's lots of different practices that we can do to like really connect with it and so in women speak we do a lot of like movement and things where we're connecting with our body um one of them is called the shake and pull down and if you want to do that real quick with all me, right you can do cool. that yeah and so yeah so some of these things are kind of stand up as i'm okay. introing it <laughs> <laughs> don't mind my shorts <laughs> no, right? I'm like oh do I have on like pajama pants no, okay, let me uh, let me rearrange this so y'all can yeah. see not just so, you know my crotch so yeah so, <laughs> so a lot of the things that we do will um are short things that you can do right before you go up and talk or that you can do before you're writing something important or just any time during the day as well but this is called the shake and pull down and really we're just moving the energy around and it helps us get out of head bubble and into our bodies where like wisdom lives and where we're calm and we don't have all the chatter. And so you just shake, start by just shaking everything out. Take one of your arms and just shake it really hard down to the fingertips and do the other one and just breathe as you're doing it. And then do your legs to each leg and foot and just shake it. It just feels good, right? <laughs> I know it seems ridiculous, but it feels, no, good. It feels and, good. Right? And we do this at every woman's speak. We do these kind of things um, and we shake her, shake her butt a little bit. <laughs> and I don't know if I can do this with the earphones, but then I just kind of like shake my whole body and head, even down to like my cheeks, like that. <laughs> and then when you feel like you've fully shaken everything off that you need to shake off, you do do we do three grounding breaths while you're still standing up and just really connected to the ground and feeling your feet on the ground and we swoop our arms up with the inhale all the way and then at the, and then as you exhale bring them down really slowly either in front of you or around and then we'll do that two more times just let it feel good breathe all the way in it's hard for me to do it while talking <laughs> and then breathe out and all the way out and letting your exhale be even longer than your inhale and that relaxes you and then one more and then if you want you can let your hands just land on your stomach at the at the end and just see what that feels like in your body now and um yeah just check in and so that's one of them that's called may, the shake and pull down may i share what i feel i'd love that and yeah. i also want to know so those who are watching comment um how did that make you feel for me 
I felt very grounded. And then when I pulled it all into my belly, into that, that third chakra, the, um, oh God, what's it called? Um, what is your third chakra is called? Um, it's, um, it's like, it's, it's, it's it's the affirmation is like, I am empowered. So it's your, um, sacral solar whatever I forget <laughs> <I'm so too. laughs> but like when I did it it was like I am powerful and then like grounding yourself in that thought that's that's what I felt anyway yeah. so yeah and you literally so feel it yeah. yeah so I'm wondering I, I'm just curious to know how others are feeling too so. yeah I am too I can't see it but I'll be curious to read yeah. later people yeah, yeah. do it but yeah so that's one of them um, we also do this really funny thing. I'll give you a second one. And it's called feel your tail. And it's a similar thing. It, okay. it just, it shifts your energy. It's, okay. it's similar, but different. And you close your eyes for a minute, uh, 30 seconds. And imagine if you had a tail, what would it be? This could be like, you know, if you, because <laughs> we're, you know, we're also animals, right? And like, so <laughs> I, we, I went to like the avatar. Like I have like the, you know, so like the oh, movie, that like kind the of, movie yeah. avatar. <laughs> That's cool. And so you just imagine you have it for a second and it sort of shifts some things in your brain and, and, and then you, you just, you can do that in like 10 seconds before you give a talk. Um, I love it. <laughs> right. I, I got a big dinosaur tail that I can like lean back on if I want, you know, yeah. sometimes I get a little bunny tail, you know, who knows, but, um, yeah, and then we share what tales we got and kind of how, how it makes us feel. Yeah, so please feel free to comment, um, and, and we'll look at the comments <laughs> later on what tale you have and, and what did it feel like. <laughs> awesome. Anything else? Um, I'd say the, another main one, because this is something anybody can do all the time, anytime. It's just dancing. Turn blast some music, dancing around. Um, we always open the circle with that. It's just such a great way to just get out of all the hecticness of your day and just really get into your body and be able to let all the other stuff go. And when we can do that, we can just let what's really true and present and there just come through us. It just sort of clears everything out. And also it's fun. <laughs> that is that is one of my secrets that I do before I come on live or do a presentation. Do you do is it? I, I listen to music and I get yeah. into the vibe of it. Mm -hmm. I pick whatever song kind of comes to me. It's usually something like, um, this is me. Um, by the greatest, you know, it's, it's in the greatest showman. Um, and then there was also, mm -hmm. um, like I, I'm a God girl or something like this. It's, um, Jamie, something is her name, but anyways, she's, oh, kind of wow. I, it'd be cool to share some of our favorite songs. Yeah. You know, yeah, in the for comments sure. or whatever. Cause I, I don't know if I know those. I'd like to. Yeah. <laughs> I can so, do yeah. I can turn them. Awesome. Uh, so uh, if, anything else about the waves or before I sit down or? Um, yeah, we can, we can sit down and okay. then, yeah. And so a lot of times, well, not almost always what we do after doing some of these body-based things is we take a minute and um, write some notes and ideas from this kind of a creative space because you get in a different headspace and you're connected to yourself and each other. And there's a lot of um, fertile ideas that then come up. And so the thing yeah. that came, do you mind if I share what, like for, for me, like but the question that came up and this is probably just my own mindset of like sharing information, but it's like, what is the most beneficial thing that I could share right now mm. that would move somebody into action? Is so, the question. Yeah. And so I was just like, feel like this is the first question that came up and it was like, how may I be? It's like spirit. What do you want to share? Like, what is it that, like, how can I be of the best service to those who are craving and asking and praying for help? And then I feel like since my, like my heart feels open. So it's like, yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> I mean, I won't, but <laughs> I will, <laughs> I will later, but not right now. <laughs> I like it.
thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. What, what is it? What is coming up to share? Can you share oh, a little? Um, no, I'll actually share it um, uh, during a Facebook Live. I'll um, okay. I'll do it. So, and All I'll right. do it awesome. like after like after we're done here. I'll just share. Oh my gosh! It. I can't <laughs> wait to hear. Yeah, to tune in and hear. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. That's so great. That's like totally what it's all about. So <laughs> we just we just did a whole um, speaking circle and like well I mean not I mean there's other stuff too but like I feel like that was the core of it like yeah. bringing out what matters most. And then I feel like if you're in this vibration and mm -hmm. this alignment, then mm -hmm. taking action immediately. Like, yeah. and I, that's the practice in your circles. I feel I I don't know. I'm that's, not there. No, but that's like, exactly right. But doing it then in the in the practice of, in the progress of, instead of this, I, I used to do this a lot and I get, I receive a lot of clients who do this and you, because we do similar work, I feel, but in like different, <laughs> different ways, people who overthink it. So it's like, instead of overthinking it, feel it and then take the action on that. Yeah, and absolutely. it's the taking action immediately. Like once the information comes and take action on it, because then the ego doesn't get in the way and the overthinking, mm -hmm. and then the, the, the child doesn't get scared that that's inside you. And is like, Oh, what am I going to do? And like all the, all the believies mm -hmm. just, just go away. Yeah. Cause you're like, Nope, I'm in do it mode. Let's just, I'm feeling that's it. That's right. It. You're just in it. Yeah. And I, I'm a classic overthinker. Like my brain was just wants to run everything and just, you know, <laughs> go crazy. So these kind of practices are huge for me and, and doing them a lot too, you know, repetitively doing it so that you learn it. Cause you know, there are also with public speaking, certain practices that you can learn and structures and all those pieces. So then you go ahead and practice those pieces, but while you're in the state and, um, do you, and build do that you muscle. Go do you go through in these women, uh, women's circles, um, do you go through all the different elements and like how to articulate and how to formulate mm -hmm. um, the conversation or the, the piece? The presentation? Yeah. Yeah. Like this week we're doing how to do a how to talk. Yeah. Um, we, we, there is a section on oh, to circle back to the ums and ahs. There's a, a month where we work on that. And the interesting thing about that is the practice on that one is really just leaning in to what you have to say. And we teach some ways to really just take ownership of what, how much it matters, what you have to say and all of that around it. And then what happens is the ums and ahs go away. It is so true. I <laughs> didn't realize. So I And there's nothing wrong with ums and ahs either. No. They're there sometimes and that's normal and mm -hmm. natural, right? But go on, sorry. Go no, ahead. it's okay. Um, so when I am channeling, when I'm allowing spirit to speak through me, my stutter and the ums and ahs go away. It, my sister who observed this in 2010, I believe, I was uh, an MC for an event and she was there. She's like, Sarah, when it was you talking and you had your goats, there would be stuttering and ums and ahs. And she's like, as soon as you, I, she's like, I could see it. You could go into spirit. And it was this like level of confidence and there was not denying anything that was coming out of your mouth. And I was like, yes, that's so yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's so for cool. For me, spirit is your innermost knowing. I mean, like for, for those who may not be like, I don't channel spirit, Sarah. So, you know, but like, it's your innermost knowing. You're allowing your soul to speak, you know. I'm glad you said that because I, I have felt like in our previous conversation and now I feel like we're talking about so much about the same thing when we're talking about this, but we're, you know, we're using different words or coming at it from different angles, but I feel like we're getting at the same thing. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. And that's why spirit gave me the term divine guidance. So that way it doesn't apply to, or it does, it can apply to any religion, spiritual belief, mm -hmm. non-spiritual belief, um, those just connect to their subconscious or super conscious it doesn't matter it's just divine guidance mm -hmm. so I mean, yeah. you are you are a divine being so you know do so have your yeah. own knowledge <laughs> and you just let it speak <laughs> so right. yeah. so um yeah yeah i do believe we are speaking the same about, about the same thing maybe just using different language but it's all, yeah, all i think the same. so yeah and all the different ways to access it i think we have touched upon this but let's just be clear for people who like to take notes and think about things mm -hmm. <laughs> how will this benefit them and us um 
it depends on what um, someone's looking for in this, but I think a journey of public speaking can benefit someone in so way, so many ways. But so for example, um, some of the things that have happened in our group is that people have had whole different conversations with friends and family that they never would have had. They've asked for raises at work and gotten them and like, that was amazing because also that has to do with just being really more connected to your and all that. So it's not just about speaking, but like things, things like that come out of it because you're, you're not only practicing speaking and getting used to speaking up for your voice, but you're also more connected to like, what I really want here, what I want to create. Mm -hmm. um, what else can come out of it? Um, for myself, and I know a lot of the other uh, ladies who are working on this or on any kind of journey with public speaking, you keep refining your body of work. And so it's like um, deepening more and more into your purpose and finding more and more words around it and angles around it and ways to express it and connect. And so um, we have uh, one woman who is just finishing up a book right now. Um, have a couple of started YouTube channels. Um, yeah, so a lot of different things can come out of it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's just the connection, that, um, that gift of being witnessed by other women in a really safe environment and being able to explore um, sometimes even new things that you're working on um, and learning and want to start sharing, but you want like a a place for the like to have a fertile ground for certain ideas. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I lost you for a second. Are you? I, I, yeah, froze. Or yeah. Um, what were you saying, love? What What was the last little bit? Um, a fertile ground oh, for something. For ideas to grow and mm -hmm. for to maybe gain confidence with uh, sometimes a new idea that you're playing with or a new insight. I think some your own journey even. I think sometimes as women. At least I observed this when I was working in local government. That we are taught by observation, not necessarily people aren't saying it. And maybe it's just an assumption that I had that I wasn't worthy of being heard. That my, like the male counterpart to me, like I would say something I would make a suggestion they wouldn't like they were like oh okay ah, and i'm the only female at the at this table and mm -hmm. he says something and they're like that's a great idea and it's the same it's he just said the same thing that i did and nobody that's ever said it never said right. that i wasn't worthy and i grew up in a household full of women and you know my father would sit there and listen to me all, all, all the time so it wasn't that in my intimate little circle that I wasn't, but it was when I was later on, I, and no one ever said that I, you're not worthy of being heard. So we're just going to, right. but it was the action of, and my observation that when it's I was so get, subliminal. Yeah. And when, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, it might just have been my own, you know, thoughts on it. I don't know because I didn't let that stop me though because mm -hmm. I went on to rewrite my job description and give myself a, you know, I, I doubled up my salary and that doesn't usually happen in, in local government. And I advanced to supervisor within two years versus, I mean, like I didn't let that mm -hmm. belief that I'm not worthy of being heard stop me. Mm -hmm. But I do know that when I became a coach and I was coaching myself, one of the things that I had to really coach myself on was the confidence and trust in myself. And then in public speaking, when spirit told me that I would be speaking to the masses, the guided message on pure love, I was like, masses, what? Oh my God. <laughs> so I had to really amp, uh, raise the bar in feeling like I was worthy of being heard and, and amplify that confidence and trust in myself. So I feel like uh, I'll, this group would allow people to have that space safe space yeah. because even in toastmasters when i was part of that there was men and women you know and mm -hmm. it, it's a different it's a different vibe it's Such a different, a different safe space when 
there's just women or just men. And even for just men, I mean, for men's circles, they have a safe space to truly express their emotions versus society's like, keep it together. You're a strong, you're, you're a strong man. You can't express your, your emotions. And my husband's been part of groups that were men, they just cry the whole time. Cause they're like, I have no other space to do this. And I asked my husband, I was like, have you ever felt like you were worthy of being heard? And he's like, it wasn't that it wasn't, it was more like, is it safe for me to truly express myself? And he's like, it took me years to process his father's death. And I probably shouldn't be bringing this all, all up, but that's okay. <laughs> but just the difference between men and women. And I yeah. should stop giving all these examples. <laughs> but, but, no, um, make, that totally illustrates that, that truth. And that, that is something to overcome for women, this idea in society where society really truly doesn't value women's voices to the extent that it values men. It's just historically, it hasn't. Mm -hmm. And it's starting to, but we need more and more. And we do, I, I've been asked so many times about, um, <laughs> can you do one of these for men? You know, and I'm like, I don't know, this, it would be such a different thing because we, we do generally have other things to overcome. Men yeah. aren't normally given permission or think that they can really explore their emotions and express mm -hmm. and they need spaces to do that. And women aren't always celebrated for our voice and we need spaces to do that. And mm -hmm and be celebrated for it. Mm -hmm. um, and I also think your space would probably give people, and I'm like making all these assumptions, like just so, so anyone's watching, I'm not actually part of the circle. So, so I think I'm like, you totally get it. Oh so, God, it's, so far <laughs> you're, you're like dead on. And I was gonna say something and now my brain just went somewhere else. <laughs> um, Let's any, see. Any final advice or anything that you would like to share? Um, let's see, what would I say? So many things. Um, I would just say, keep doing any of the things that feel good and being in the spaces that support you and that feel good, like this group and, you know, the, um, any other spaces you can find like that. And, um, it's just so important for us as women. It's, and it's not, it's so important for us individually and we need it in the world because we, we just need in the world, all of the things that women want and value and, um, whatever your heart's desire is and your purpose and your calling is so needed. Yeah, for sure. I was, yeah. the other thing I was going to share was, um, just by connecting with you, I feel like the women who do connect you connect with you are able when they're speaking can come unfiltered i feel like oh, when yeah. we give presentations it's like well this is what we should say this is what we shouldn't say and you're just like no there's no filter like let's let's get no filter it. whatsoever none <laughs> when i gave my first table topics. I know I'm going back to, t and you're like, I'm, this is the opposite of, of Toastmaster Sarah, but this is just my like co co comparison. And I just spoke from the heart. I had gone through a divorce and it was like, what is it that you want to share? <laughs> and I was like, this is what I've learned. And da, 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 da. I'm like, no one knew me. I was like, what the heck? I'm up here. I'm going to learn. I'm just going to bear my heart. And it was, what is it like one or two minutes, a uh, one to two minute table topic, I think in, in Toastmasters. And, uh, I just talked from the heart and they were like, and I was like, I'm not going to filter myself. Like that is, that is not how I'm going to show up. And I feel like you give the platform for people to come. Yeah. I love them. that. That's so powerful. And I just, I have to celebrate you for that because that's like, you know, you just decided you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. But it isn't already super conducive to it or easy, you know, but yeah. you're, you're so open hearted and like confident and amazing like that. I'm like, it's, that's just great leadership. I love that. <laughs> I sometimes feel like I don't have a choice because spirit uh, like, this is what's going on, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And what if we all are more, more and more connected to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I have found when I am having conversation, conversations with, quote unquote, spiritual and more enlightened peeps, mm -hmm. there's a lot less taking it personal. It's like, this is what's going on. And this is really what I mean. It's the unfiltered. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just, this is what's going on versus I've noticed when I've had conversations 
with people who haven't read the four agreements. <laughs> if you, do, 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 do you know what I mean? But oh, we're frozen. Yeah. So can you still? Oh no. Me? No. Yeah. Yeah. I heard four agreements. I yes. <laughs> I'm sure you've read the four agreements, right? <laughs> Uh-huh. And so I always make a joke like those who have not who have not read it, we'll we'll take it we'll we'll, we'll take things personal, you know. I, that, that's what I did, and um, I just find it to be a more unfiltered, open-hearted conversation when people both come from that space. I also teach yeah. in how to listen to your cho- or how, how to live your chosen path and, and that sort of thing. Is like mm-hmm. how to ask for what you want, saying what you need to say but all from a space of love. That's what spirit keeps saying over and over is come from a space of love. That was an aha that I had yesterday or the day before while I was out on my walk with everything going on in the world. What I was getting frustrated about was like, no, you need to respond this way. You need to talk this way. You need to do this way. And in my core of my being is pure love. And that's, that's how I want to respond. Not, you need to do this. You need to do that. This is what you need. And I'm like, no, like if I see somebody and I'm feeling genuinely love, I'm going to say hello and wave and express like, so when I went to the grocery store yesterday, I'm like, I'm just going to walk around, open love and see what happens. And like, people are like, hi, hi, hi. You know, I mean, through their mask, you know, (laughs) right. Right. (laughs) I was like, I'm like, I can see those corners, those eyes coming up. I know you're smiling under there. (laughs) so good that's what we need in the world yeah right now yeah Yeah. well awesome thank you so much for taking time and chatting and sharing um please for those who are watching please connect with kelly and love honor and look check out how how do how how do how shall we connect with you how how do we contact you they can message me um here um can email me. Um, I could, I could put my email down below. I could put a link to more information about women speak. If they would like to join a circle, they normally are, um, in person, but right now they're on zoom. So (laughs) anybody could come and check one out. We do have a couple coming up this month. So that would be cool. It'd be so fun if you wanted to come join one, Sarah. (laughs) You'll be like, like, I knew this is what it was going to be like. (laughs) It's so fun. (laughs) We laugh, we cry, we (laughs) do all the things. Sounds Sounds like I'd fit right in. (laughs) Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you. You too, Sarah. Thank you for for having me here. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye.